Good to see you again. Would any of these other candidates be talking about what they're talking about if it wasn't for Howard Dean standing up in the first place? Probably. Thanks, George. Senator yeah, Dank, sure. Senator Fine, Party, sure. To Governor Dean. To Governor Dean, well, we've, he's uh, added important to mention in this campaign because he's activated a whole uh, new uh, generation, getting them involved. And uh, with the Democratic Party needs their idealism, uh, uh, energy needs their support. It wouldn't be Howard Dean. It wouldn't be American politics. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's interesting, but how you doing? What do you think of the media now that you know them personally? Hey, uh, my name's Heath. 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 Hi, Mr. Henry. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Were you the guy at the bar? Yeah. <laughs> Who were you with, brother? You were tripping? No, no, I, I, I'm independent, independent documentary producer. For who? You out of here? Yeah. Oh, Paul. Yeah, you were going to introduce me. Oh, this is Paul Begala, co host of Crossfire. This man right here is the owner, operator, founder, creator, inventor of DeanTV.org. We talked last night. That's right. Do you remember? Yeah. That's right, but I was wondering. Going on to DeanTV? Is this like DeanTV.org? I was wondering if you had a chance to go to DeanTV.org since we talked last night. No, no, it's not. You didn't raise your computer. I'm not just the same. No, I don't have a laptop. Yeah, no, this is part of the grassroots movement that is the Howard Dean campaign. Yeah. Actually, yes, we love to talk to the media. What, what, where are you where from? Where are you from? Sure. Oh, Dean TV? Oh, no, I don't want to talk to Dean. I want to talk to the real media. <laughs> Is Howard Dean a victim of poor management or media pylon after Iowa? Well, well, there's one or two answers. There's one or two answers. So I'll say uh, neither. I think he was uh, a victim of just the nature of television and that it's so phenomenal and it's so visual, obviously, that it, it captures uh, something and people take that something as the truth. Well, look, the media giveth and the media taketh away. I don't know, man. People are disappointed, you know? People are disappointed in these guys back here in the media disappointed in everything they've done in this campaign. They're pissed off about it. Uh, they believe this guy's the best chance we have to beat George Bush, and so people are angry about that. Because these, these guys have been spinning it negative for months. All these guys right here, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. Because they had a story they wanted to write, and that's what they've done. They haven't looked at the facts and then wrote a story from that. They've taken their story and taken what reality is and put it into the story that they already had written. Is the media harsh on them after Iowa? The media's harsh on everybody, son. They were harsh on us. What, what are you, what, this is presidential politics. You, you, this is not a living room game. Hi, my name's Ted Mondale. Walter Mondale's son. Nice to see you. And I'm out canvassing for Howard Dean. How are you today? Going to the Democratic caucuses Monday night? Are you going to the Democrat caucus Monday night?